Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. We're here today to show you a project that you can make that's really simple and inexpensive and you can make a really good profit. We're going to be making something called a floating mason jar holder. So what you're going to need is a one inch board, some kind of canning jar, people call them mason jars, this happens to be a ball. You're going to need a hole saw to cut your hole and you'll also need something to be able to cut your board into the dimensions you need. These are great decorations, centerpieces, home decor, and you can sell them anywhere. Facebook, Etsy, craft fairs. Um, the opportunity is pretty much endless. All right, we'll head on over to the table saw and get started. Now, since the depth of our jar holder will be four and a half inches from front to back, the most economical way to do this is to use a one by 10 so you can get two four and a half inch boards out of it. That's our first step is to split this in half. Now we're over here at the miter saw and we're going to cut the lengths of our boards. We need four boards. Two are going to be seven inches and two are going to be five and a half. When we put that all together, it's going to make a seven inch square to hold our jar. Okay, we've got one of our seven inch boards clamped down here. We have center marked out on it because it's time to drill a hole. Now the hole will be for the jar to fit up through and the size of the mouth of these jars are two and three quarters of an inch, which is the size of our hole saw. So we'll go ahead and cut this out. All right, now that we have all of our pieces cut out for our mason jar holder, we're going to hit this with some 120 grit sandpaper. Um, before we construct it, it's gonna be hard to get in there and you know we have to hand sand it. I really like my orbital sander. And so we'll go ahead and get these sanded down just a little bit and then it will be time for construction. pieces are cut and sanded, it's time to assemble. For that we're going to use some wood glue and inch and a quarter bread nails. Alright, we're down to the final step in our project um, and that is to put some finish on this floating mason jar holder. Today we're going to be using um, this Holly Shades by Minwax and it's in a color called Mission Oak. It has the um, stain and polyurethane in one step. So let's go ahead and get this finished. Well, it's another inexpensive and easy to build project that you can make a good profit on. And these things really sell. Yeah, just take a look around online. Um, these sell all over the place. Really check out Etsy. These are priced anywhere between $25 and $30 a piece. It does not cost that much to make them. 
and you can bash these out very quickly. So this would be a really great money maker for your woodworking business. At today's process, counting the wood and the jar and everything you put into this, some nails, you're talking six or seven dollars a piece for these. And like she said, you can sell them for 25 or 30 bucks. And the crazy part about that is when you look online, most of the time the jar is not even included. So a really great thought would be to take these to a craft fair, put your jar in there, dress them up with a little bit of uh, greenery, floral, maybe a candle, some stones, just something really nice so when that buyer walks by, it catches their eye. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to ring the bell to stay up to date on all of our content. Thanks again for joining us today. Happy woodworking!